When it comes to playing a B flat on the saxophone, we have options and it's a good idea to become familiar with all of them because it's just going to give you more flexibility when you need to play it. So first of all, what are the different fingerings? Probably the first fingering that you were introduced to was the side B flat. And we play a side B flat by putting our fingers on the A and pressing down the bottom side key on the right hand side of the saxophone. And we just use this part of our finger here. Nudging that bottom side key with your A finger down. That is the side B flat. The main alternative that we use for that side B flat is the bis B flat. The bis B flat key is this tiny little key that's between our B and A key. And the way that we play it is we slide our first finger just a little bit lower so we're pushing both of those buttons down. That is our bis B flat. And the other option that isn't really used very often is the one and one fingering. The one and one fingering is pretty much as it sounds. You put your first finger down on the B and you put your first finger down at the bottom of the instrument. And that is also a B flat. So now we have the options of how to play the B flat. We need to look at the situations where we should be using them. The side B flat can be used in any situation and it actually offers the most flexibility when we have that B flat. But I do like to use the bis B flat wherever I can because it allows me to move around the instrument with a little bit more freedom. I don't have to worry about getting that side key down. I can just think about moving my first finger down onto that bis B flat key. And then every time my fingers move to what I'm feeling as a B, it's just going to play it as a B flat. There is one important rule that we need to stick to when we're playing chromatic passages that do incorporate a B to a B flat or the other way around. You should try and avoid the bis B flat in this situation. And that's because you need to slide your finger on or off that bis B flat, which as you can see here, isn't really the most secure movement and you're not gonna be as accurate moving between those two buttons. Saying that, the more comfortable you become with that bis B flat, the more likely you are to be able to use it in more situations. One of the great things about that bis B flat is having your finger on that key will not affect any other note. So what I like to say is you're getting yourself in B flat mode when you're playing a piece that has no B naturals. So if a piece has all B flats in it, then you can just put your finger down on the bis B flat and every time your fingers move to a B, it just comes out as a B flat. Let's try it now with an F major scale. Hold down the bis B flat key, play your F major scale, and you'll notice that none of the other notes in that F major scale are affected by putting down that bis B flat. But when you get to the bis B flat, when you get to your B flat note, you don't have to worry about moving your fingers anywhere else apart from what feels like a normal B. <laughs> What I've done is put together quite a concise PDF package, which is just three sheets. And what I've tried to do is make sure that it forces you to play different B flats in each of them exercises. So it's all the same music, but I'm asking you to play different B flats. So the bis B flat in one and the side B flat in another, which forces you into playing these different B flats. The more that you play them, the more that you're forced to play them, the more familiar you're going to be and the more freedom you're going to have to be playing one or the other and then make some decisions about which one you need to use in which situation. If you want a free download of that PDF, then just go to my website, follow the link in the, in the description and sign up to the mailing list underneath that specific PDF package and it will be sent on an email straight to you. Thank you very much as always for tuning in. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will read them all. I will respond to them all. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.